The cadets are exposed to various kinds of comprehensive military training, simulations, cutting across the Army, Navy and the Air Force. Academic and military training go hand in hand with discipline. Uh, in modern cadets to be officers, we basically look at three key things closely related which are critical to achieving the mandate of the college. First is leadership development. Because cadets are meant to be leaders on commission. They are meant to command men into combat. So that leadership attribute is absolutely key and will ensure that before commission, they have acquired enough leadership skills to be able to lead troops into combat. Second is character development. Again, also tied to leadership, to ensure that cadets are trained on all facets of character development, moral in terms of integrity, honor, professional in terms of being able to execute assigned tasks successfully, even social, being able to live honorably both in public and civil life, and also in terms of civic, being able to have emotional intelligence empathy, interpersonal skills. Now these are the foundation of officer SCADA. Once the cadets are sufficiently trained in this key attribute, then their ability to function is not in doubt and that is all. Now in terms of professional training, we create and through several range of uh, key areas starting from the physical fitness which will achieve through normal training endurance, swimming and other. And then subjecting them to various military subjects in order to develop their professional competence. Areas like tactics, map reading, communication, geopolitics and all that. So when you join all these areas together, you find out that the cadets are better forced into ultimately being First, we ensure that the cadets are in tune with all spectrum basic knowledge, of course, of all spectrum of activities you need to be able to function both in conventional warfare and asymmetric warfare. Now, conventional warfare in the sense that despite the changes in the character and nature of warfare with more issues of uh, irregular threats, we still believe that cadets need to understand first those frameworks that you need to conduct conventional warfare. After that, and also based on our local situation at home, we are beginning to veer into areas of irregular warfare, counter-terrorism, hybrid operation, so that the knowledge cadets gain in these areas, they can better apply it on the ground, seeing the challenges we have in, this, uh, in the Northeast. In other words, with this basic knowledge, the cadets are better able, with little or no further training, to be able to function in defense of the command. We will now have a modus on counterterrorism, which seeks to expose the cadets to the basic principles and tools you can apply in combat of this nature. Also, hybrid operations, in the sense that these days you find out that uh, you have what you call a three block warfare. Three block warfare, in the sense that you'll be expected to face high intensity conventional conflict, stabilization operation, internal security, low intensity conflict in one single theater. Specifically, the academy is also at an advanced stage of building a counterterrorism village. The idea of the counterterrorism village is for the students to have a hands-on approach on how things can unfold. 
so that in real life they will be able to lean back on these experiences they have gotten, be able to function adequately. Kadeid daily activities are guided by Kadeid Brigade Commander. They have their monster parade, that is the morning check-in. After that they go for first period, from the first period they go for the breakfast, from where they proceed to the academic branch or the military branch for their training. After that, of course, they have their lunch. Then they have a light rest, go for evening games. Then they have dinner. After dinner, they are not left on their own, they still go for prep. Then they have night checking and, of course, bed check at night. However, in between, during, they have breaks that they can proceed. End of term breaks, weekends too. They can also go on Liberty Pass. So the routine is designed such that it keeps them busy and makes them responsible. The view of the need to ensure optimal performance is among the staff of the institution, whilst maintaining high quality in both academic and military training, the Commandant, Nigeria Defense Academy, Major General Adenio Oyebade, has demonstrated unflinching commitment to staff motivation. Here, I'm the chief trainer. And my cadets will see me as somebody they want to emulate. They must see and each of my officers they interact with on a daily basis as people they want to be like. Because those are the closest people they see of what they want to be. And if they don't have that inspiration, if they don't have that commitment, that excitement that I want to be like this person, then we are feeling our duty. I think um, every leader, every leader has a responsibility to recognize that uh, you must learn to motivate the people that you lead. And what are those key things? Constant training. I, I, I make more to say, uh, under my leadership, since I took over, I was privileged to be appointed by the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tiwa Boratai, to lead this institution. We have sent so many, so many, uncountable number of military and civilian staff on high level of training at home and abroad. So uh, over the last one year, we have renovated several, dilapidated accommodation, upgraded it. We have also uh, built quite a number. As a result of the remarkable successes recorded so far, the cadets have remained in high spirits. Recently, in Nigerian Defense Academy, our training facilities, infrastructure, and concept review have greatly improved the overall training standard in all ramifications. We are now well equipped to face any form of contemporary challenges, both locally and internationally. Cadets' feeding now is of standard, and everybody's enjoying it. Then. Secondly, he has introduced the IHL, which is the uh, International Humanitarian Law, into our curriculum. It is worthy of note that cadets that pass through the Nigerian Defense Academy has memorable moments. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> There's a place called Bomber Tunnel. Uh, it's a tunnel really that connects to cadets' lines. and. Uh, each time, your seniors want to scare the hell out of you, they have to pass through the tunnel, it's so tight. And won't be telling you on the big side, you get stuck in there, my God, you hate yourself. <laughs> but, um, they are funny moments, but then you need those.